Option B, Living World. So there you had a map, and um, you just had to read. You had to look at it. Okay, lovely little colours. It said to you what uh, so one of the following statement is true. The following the statement that was true was a coniferous forest in light blue are uh, in North America, Northern Europe, and Asia. That was the correct answer. Question two: Continent with the largest area savanna um, is. Uh, Africa, please rate Africa because Southern Africa is an area of the continent and South Africa is a country, so that wouldn't have counted. Okay, um, and then next one, vegetation loses its leaves because uh, in lower they drop their leaves in lower temperature. The main reason for that is to, because they store they uh, they want to keep their um, sap and their energy uh, inside their bark so the uh, plant doesn't die. Okay. Uh, na next question, you did it in a past paper, I'm pretty sure, um, and the only difference was you didn't have the climate graph. Here you have a climate graph, use it. Tell me, first start, introduction, telling me what is a climate like in the rainforest. Is hot and humid, is rainy, constant temperatures, okay? So then tell me three features and three ways in which they've helped plants adapt. For instance, I can see buttress roots. Buttress roots are allowed to stabilize the ground, the, the ground, the tree. Therefore, the tree can grow higher. It can reach more sunlight and therefore photosynthesize better. Okay. Um, you can also talk to me maybe about um, lianas that, that grow along the tree. You can see one just here, in my opinion. Uh, you can talk to me about uh, the waxy leaves, the, the uh, dip at the end of the leaves to make sure the, the um, leaves don't rot because it's so wet, etc. Okay, so three factors, three reasons how to help uh, the plants adapt. Next one here, you have to look at the graph, tell me how the deforestation uh, loss has changed or not. In this case, I'm not going to lie, it looks pretty stable up to 2016. So you could say on the whole, there's not a massive change, uh, but there's a slight increase from 2016 onwards. One mark, give me some data, two marks. One reason why deforestation has decreased in some countries, well, you, you've got the list on the right-hand side, international agreements, customer pressure, greater awareness, um, more sustainable farming practice, concerns about climate change, etc. Okay, ecotourism could have worked, selective logging, debt relief, that could work. Uh, photograph you've got here, tell me using figure eight, one environmental effect of deforestation. The classic one is habitats are destroyed, animal uh, species go extinct. Boom, two marks, point, explanation. Um, explain how ecotourism has a sustainable management strategy in tropical rainforest. Uh, sustainable ecotourism is always small scale. It provides money to local people. It raises awareness. As a result, money can be reinvested in the local area to protect it. Uh, smaller groups will be less damaging and uh, people will be more aware and therefore uh, understand uh, sustainability better. Okay. And the nine marker here, I am proud to say in my class, no one wrote about cold environments because there's always one person who gets it wrong. Uh, they, that person did exist in, exist in my class, so well done everyone. Um, and you all did quite well, okay? Hot deserts, we learned about Western desert and we looked a little bit at the Sahara. The four opportunities, four challenges, two piece paragraphs, okay? So I'd have done one piece paragraph where you'd say something along the lines of one advantage of living in a hot desert is farming. High levels of uh, of of, um, of of sunshine mean high level of photosynthesis, which means that you can grow crops really easily. You've also got lots of land to do that on. However, you could say uh, there's a lack of water because of the extreme temperatures, therefore high evaporation and a high chance of drought. Paragraph one. Paragraph two. You could say something along the lines of. Um, You've got um, lack, uh, sorry, lack of accessibility makes it hard to travel around the desert. You say, however, if you fix that problem like Las Vegas has, you can have, you can make a lot of money from tourism. Boom, negative, positive. Okay, 